Josh, 634 now. Good morning. Eastern Iowans in several counties and towns are waking up to a mess this morning. And nowhere is that more evident than in Iowa City. We continue our live first alert storm team coverage now with News Copter 9 pilot Captain Bobby Ratliff. Bobby? Uh, Scott, I've uh, been finding more damage. And it, this isn't uh, funny, but it really has, uh, these tornadoes just went after every car dealership in Iowa City, uh, almost like they were on a mission. These are the newer car dealerships uh, on Mormon Trek. And as you can see, uh, very expensive cars at this particular dealership, and they are uh, smashed and laying everywhere. That will give you the idea of the force of the winds, which is that's how the National Weather Service will rate this if it is a tornado, by what it can move around and the damage that it can do. Those are some very uh, nice, expensive new cars, not used cars. There will be a big insurance bill on this. Now, the damage I'm seeing, if there were multiple tornadoes, in Iowa City, it would be consistent because it appears uh, there's several paths, independent different paths. This would be one that, that would be more north of the one that took out the Dairy Queen uh, near Riverside Drive. And there's just damage everywhere. This was a Honda dealership, and you can you can see that. Uh, that's structural, you know. That really dug into the building there and took down uh, a lot of uh, material. But, uh, you know, it just goes on and on and on and on. Those cars heavily damaged. Some of them may be not salvageable. We'll probably be uh, hearing about uh, not some hail sales, but probably tornado sales of cars around the area. See, it just goes on and on. There's the, another building. Uh, they still have power, which is the funny thing. Uh, some buildings are heavily damaged. They still have power. And then there's areas where there's homes. It doesn't look like there's a lot of damage, and, and there's no power. So that's Pontiac GMC. Uh, these are relatively new buildings which, of course, uh, very expensive buildings, and uh, the damages continue to add up. This one is, uh, you know, like I say, uh, very close to 218 and at Mormon Trek right there. You can see the intersection. Oh, let me uh, go over. I'm still close enough, if you, for those who are familiar with Iowa City, uh, close enough to show you some. There's the airport. This is a Menards, and a lot of the reason there's roof damage a lot of the reasons I believe these large uh, warehouse type uh, s stores are closed is the debris field in the in the parking lots. A lot of them had their springtime uh, stuff sitting outside and their stuff that came off the roof, and it just has turned the parking lots into uh, a, a, just a, a obstacle course. And I'm sure they don't want customers in there right now. That's Menards, uh, no power there. It's shut down. And if I go over here, that is a quite a distance though. Uh, that is Walmart from the opposite side. You can see the roof damage there. That's the roof damage. We're looking under the sun, and they had their springtime stuff out also, and uh, their parking lot is just jammed full of all kinds of debris, and I'm sure they don't want anybody in there. There you can see the roof's gone. And uh, just, just everywhere, Scott, uh, here in Iowa City, could go on and on forever. We just don't have enough time reporting live back to you all right thank you bobby we'll check back in throughout the day today you know it was a very